Okay, we're talking about structured data available on the internet, and I'm imagining I want to make an app about the periodic table. And I know that the periodic table is a very common thing to study, so I can trust that out on the internet there is structured data that will help me with my project. So I've Googled it, and I'm on this where can I find downloadable spreadsheet of element properties. Like I don't want to type all of the elements into my program. I want to start with some data that already exists. And I've actually looked through this and I found there's a nice JSON database here. And so what this is, is it takes me to GitHub, which is where coders basically share information. And here's periodic table in JSON. So JavaScript object notation, which you know how to use. And look what I've got here. I've got an elements array. So it's elements and opening bracket makes it an array and look at this object it's got the name the appearance the atomic mass the category i particularly like the summary and this is the end of the object so that's all hydrogen and that's all helium so it's just got a ton of information on the periodic table so i'm just gonna grab this so if i do here edit edit the file then I can just shift command down arrow to get all 4,800 lines, command C, and then let's bring it over to App Lab. I don't have an App Lab open. Here we go. Here's an App Lab. So we create, we can create a new App Lab project and paste this into our App Lab project. So right here, command V. And now I've got 4,800 lines of the periodic table. So if I go up to the top, so I don't, not too sure why they do this. They make it an object. So let's not make it an object. Let's just make it an array. And so we'll say var elements is the name of our array. Maybe this is a different lang programming language they're using, but now it's just an array. Var elements equals opening square bracket, and you know about objects. So you've got an object that starts here, and it goes all the way down and ends here. And so that's an object for hydrogen. And so if I go command down arrow, so at the end of this, I don't need this extra bracket, but if I end with this bracket, so that's the end of the array. And so I just have a long list of elements. So now I can just do whatever I want with it. So I'm really curious about that summary. So let's say, let's go to the design tab and let's put a, let's put a text area on the screen and let's make it nice and wide. So I like to make things 300 and then give them the X position of 10. That makes them perfectly centered. And let's give this guy a height of Let's just give it a height of 200. So it's nice and big and it's called text area one. And I go back to the code and I can just say, let's just look at this amazing object that we have. And it's important to use your keyboard shortcuts because you don't want to be scrolling around. So command down arrow gets me onto the bottom. And let's do this. Let's do set text of text area one to elements zero so that's the first element in the let list dot summary and i think that's going to work let's run it and so there we go so it's telling us it's just so too small to really be useful so let's just make it uh bump up the font let's make it 20 and let's run it again hydrogen is a chemical element with chemical symbols so there you go. It's giving us a nice little summary. And, you know, that actually we got lucky and that fits perfectly in our text area. But let's say I was, you know, curious and I want to know, like, will all the summaries fit in that text area? So I could just do things like, well, I could do things like, well, how long is that? How long is that summary? So we could just find out with like, console.log let's just look at that elements zero dot summary command C command V dot length 
And so that'll just tell me how long it is. So I know that uh, a text area that's 300 wide and 200 high and 20 point font can hold a 293 character summary. But will, are there other summaries in here that are longer? I don't know, I'm just kind of exploring this data. Let's see, so let's just loop through it. So let's just say, so for var i equals zero, i is less than elements dot length, i plus plus, um, let's create a var, let's say var max length equals zero, and let's just say um, if the summary we are on, so that'll be this, if the summary we are on, so we start at the first one, but we're gonna loop through each of them, so we're gonna make, we're gonna look at i instead of zero, so it's gonna be zero, one, two, three, all the way up to the, to the end. If summary, if elements summary dot length is greater than zero, which obviously it is going to be the f first. Let's make it not greater than zero. Make it dot. Make it greater than max length. Well, then, then we'll set max length to this. So it's basically asking is this element summary greater than the maximum, which starts at zero, but gets reset, you know, like as soon as we get to hydrogen, it's going to be set to 293. Then we're going to keep looking. And the next one, if it's longer, well, I spelled length wrong. So if it's longer, then it's going to set max length to the new longer value. So we're going to loop through everything and if the summary is greater than the max length then we're going to set the max length equal to elements i dot summary length and then let's console dot log max length and what doesn't it like about this unmatched bracket oh yeah so we got to finish our for loop. So this is actually part of the if. OK, so we reset, we run, and we find that the max length of the summary is 588. So we, if we're making an app that shows the periodic table and we want to show this summary, we know that we have to make a screen element that can handle 588 characters. So it's pretty big. It's almost twice as big as this. So that's a lot. So, you know, we might not want to show all that. So maybe we would just say, uh, we would like splice it off and show the first 300 characters or something like that. But anyway, the whole point is like, we just, somebody on the internet made available a JavaScript object of the periodic table of the elements with all of this great information. And so now we can look at their objects and we can say, we can add it to our app and we can use whatever looks interesting to us. Maybe it's interesting who discovered it or who it's named after or part of the summary or the appearance, whatever. But we don't have to type all that stuff in. We can just use what they're giving us. So structured data on the internet. This example is a JavaScript object from JSON data, JavaScript object notation.